Indeed, so one of them came upon the abandoned church. They want to turn it into a club for dance music, but agents of narcomania have overrun it. You shudder to think of all the narco they must have already consumed in there. Narco is bad. Well, first of all, you're a smart cop, and a smart cop like you would understand if something wasn't quite right. So this should be easy. Plus, and it has to be considered, you can't invent the future of dance music in this smelly old tent. Imagine if you had the church. That settles it. Analysis complete. Their story checks out. Yes, at last. You find a way to piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. HDB 41. Date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene. Followed by the title. For example, HDB 4112011700. The next world mural. It's proving to be harder than expected. You just don't have the intellectual rigor to patch the quilt back together. Try again later. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic who showed up three days late and argues with his necktie. You weren't sent here to win. She's the cleaning lady. She knows the floor plan and the residence. They probably just moved or died. Hopefully somewhere else. Would she understand if they did? The sight you're beholding right now is probably the reason he doesn't. It's generally easier to do things if you have literally any reason. You have plenty of reason to enter. The sum must have been puny. Looks like he isn't home. You should come back later. After 2100. Looks like he isn't home. You should come back tomorrow evening. After 2100. Looks like he isn't home. You should come back tomorrow evening. After 2100. Looks like he isn't home. You should come back later. After 2100. The man you're looking for is standing right next to you. You should talk to him. Remember. Tomorrow. He's probably gone for today. Just theorizing here. But if you don't have as much control over your muscle groups as you'd like, perhaps you could try something you know is bound to fail. Precisely. It's brilliant. Yes, stupidly brilliant. Assuming you don't accidentally succeed. Fortunately, you're trying not to cause any real damage. Wait, wait, wait. You were trying not to do that. It's obvious they take this group of theirs extremely seriously. Whatever you do, don't compare it to a common book club. In other words, they have lost faith in their own relevance. No, of course not. That's reductive in the extreme. If this is what the Union Man meant by theory combat, you've just scored a decisive blow. A feeble and hopelessly mixed metaphor for the moment. Based on the prevalence of white Sarah Mauritian suits in Martinez, extremely low. Probably because they're the real names of Nazteb and Exilus, the authors of that so-called essay about tip-top tournée you read in La Fume. What is this inframaterialist business they keep blathering about? You've never heard of anything like it, with predictable results. Probably because they're the real names of Nazteb and Exilus, the authors of that so-called essay about tip-top tournée you read. Effects like having more people in their reading group, it wouldn't be the first neurological episode you've experienced on this case. Momentary aphasia, it seems. Just one more neurological episode for the station Lazarus to look into during your next checkup. That doesn't quite comport with what you know. Don't forget the lady driver. God, yes, sweet standardization. The backbone of rationality and commerce. That comports with the dice maker's testimony as well. That's not the real reason he's so apprehensive. Men in his position shouldn't be seen loitering around in underprivileged young men's apartments in the middle of the night. Back off, now. This man has diplomatic immunity. It serves no good to accuse him of a crime he didn't commit. He didn't see the hanging. He saw the little show staged by the Hardys. 
let him talk. He may know more than even he knows. Not exactly a model of accessible and accountable governance. She must know you're here because of her husband. It is indeed what happened here. It will still be accessible through the apartment next to it. That one didn't have a door. Sadly, nothing of great value remains here. Put your emotions aside. Try to focus on abstract, impersonal things. The deaths of Charlie Spillane and Deanna Deneuve, the case Dick Mulling was on. That's what this crooked swindle must be. Cindy the Skull has all the necessary materials. Talk to her. Cindy the Skull has a paintbrush and paint. Talk to her. You already have the heavy fuel oil to use as paint. And Cindy the Skull has a paintbrush. This is completely doable. Wait. Is someone else investigating the lynching? Looks like it could belong to the building's front door. Looks like it could belong to the building's front door. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? Why single out this one building? Great idea. You only have two, maybe three things left to say before the change runs out. Seems like it did not have time to swallow the coin. This sometimes happens. It's over. It seems likely that it was left in the surf until someone laid it out on this fence to dry out. Unfortunately, that just seems to have stiffened it into a shapeless mass. She's in stupor. There's no telling when she'll snap out of it, if ever. Reflex to what? Being left alone? The locals will take care of her. Someone's bound to know her family. Nothing you can do for her anymore. Her children and their children, if there were any, stopped coming when it got really bad. No, remember, get the gun. It's okay. It's safe. It must have meant the gun is not loaded. She's holding an empty gun. There's a scenario unfolding in her head right now. It has nothing to do with what's happening here. She didn't consume them. She didn't look high. She confiscated them, a little like you are doing now. This is what killed him, a bad fall. It might have been dark outside. This place is a minefield in the dark. I'll have one drink before I get home. Agreed. If this somehow converges later, why not? But keep it simple for now. Sometimes a kebab is just a kebab. To hide the stench of alcohol, no doubt. That's what the chewing gum seems to point to as well. Or maybe it was just dark. A dead working class man with a bottle in his hand? Don't deceive yourself. You know who this is. A cool leather jacket with a bolt of blue? Oh no. This sounds terribly familiar. It is death. It must be. They don't. That price is steep. But then it's the third edition mega setting supplement. So it makes sense. Note, reading about Dick Mullen would not actually make you a better detective. 850 million people live on these tiny dots. An oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. That seems improbable. Entropenetic nudism? That's insane. That's beyond dangerous. Denial is the way she copes with criticism. Doesn't seem like the spell is working. There are no customers around except you. Her filament memory. What you discover? Probably just some office space. Don't be scared. What you discover? Probably just office space. And the damn fridge. Don't be scared. And hell freezes over? Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. You don't have anything of substance to tell her until you found that entity of hers. The narrative she's built herself, it does need tearing down. Maybe Roy from the pawn shop can help you with this. You should probably tell Lena. It'll take a load of her mind. You should probably tell Lena. It'll take a load of her mind. Could this be why Morel hasn't returned to Lena? Fortress accident. Just like in the doomed commercial area, there must be a connection. Password. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. Saint Brun. That's the church. Rue de saint Ghislaine. The doomed commercial area. She must be talking about her former colleagues from Fortress Accident. They all sound like 
radio game people. Let's think about this logically. Why would nothing be terrifying if it's, well, nothing? She has an idea though. You can see the tiny signal lights firing inside her brain. It's obvious. She's referring to your half-sunken Caprice 40, an abandoned power source. What could she be referring to? What an interesting proposition. Truly a task for the intellectuals, solving the puzzle of water bowls. What? She only wants you to follow instructions. Nothing intellectually stimulating. In this task, a child could do it. Easy. You measure it by the world around it. Wait. What? That's a little above your pay grade at the moment. Did she say over 16 years of experience? She must have started programming when she was still a teenager. In the mixing desk now, building into a positive feedback loop. This can't be it. You should have a listen. All you hear is silence in your head. You don't have to. You already have. A long time ago, these thoughts formed in you somewhere, in a long forgotten discussion behind a kitchen table, in the evening light. It's nothing. No, it's less than nothing. No, could these words be the password that unlocks the filament memory? Something during the raid the lieutenant mentioned? Or just hooligans looking for something to break? That's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures. And is that a satchel of tools over there? That's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures. And is that a satchel of tools over there? Wait, he says he didn't remember anything about being mesk. And now he remembers this. It looks like he truly doesn't remember. There's a vagueness to his sense of time. This task is an insult to your mental skills. It seems the sound here is detached from its source somehow, if not blotted out outright. Truly unusual. This must be the boy Clasia mentioned. You could ask the miss what she thinks later if you have the time, though you doubt she'll tell you much at this point. This is it. The scene of the party. The fire pit. Cigarettes and empty bottles all evidence it. Not as such. I'm talking about what came after. The party scene. Looks like they were here a while. Judging from all the bottles, the sunken motor carriage provided them a focal point, like a goose ice sculpture or a chocolate fountain. You have a home somewhere. All cops do. When this is done, you can return. You have a home somewhere. All cops do. When this is done, you can return. No phasmid either, but still. 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 How can it be pure if it's magenta? Considering the limited police presence in Martinez, you think we might take a leap of logic and say it's yours? You are the cop. It's your cloak. Don't make things complicated. Nailed it. The containers in the yard are green in Wild Pine's livery, and the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. Everything is so pretty in red. You and Leo look like brothers as you glance around with similar childlike wonder. Law school? Could she be talking about the Union fixer, a.k.a. the gardener? Yes, moving from inwards to outwards. By the looks of it, soon everything will be in union colors. So Evra trained a lawyer named Miss Beefoot. Interesting. That means he doesn't really know anything about you. What if one of those complex theories is right? That sounds a bit like organized crime. Again, that sounds like organized crime. There's more to this. He's thinking, damn, what a mess. Good thing this isn't going to come back to me. Agreeing to take the contracts does not equate to you agreeing to actually help him. There's probably more to that. He places a lot of faith in that lawyer girl. Perhaps this is a tactical error. Anyway, he's betting on them being useless to you, so he doesn't want to counter with a narrative that exonerates the union. But why? Clients would take a well-known multinational conglomerate over a local mobster any day. This must be the woman who bought the gun from Roy. The one he described as terrifying. Is this the same woman who bought the gun from Roy? You don't know his full plan. 
Perhaps he expected trickery. Perhaps the signatures weren't important. The point is, do not think you're ahead of him. 2,373 is a sizable contingent for a labor organization in Revachon. Um, because you pawned off your gun? You should definitely come back here and ask again if you learn more about the union's dealings. There's something he's not telling you. Okay, so that's basically his system here. Okay, police officers have weapons they use to shoot people with, right? It's got to be on you. Check your pockets. It's gone. It's not there. Your gun is gone. To hell with love. This is your gun. It's pretty bad if you lost it. Oh my God, you've been played. And safer too. You never know who you can trust. He's got you there. You've got to be 10 or 12 meters up, at least. That's a non sequitur, if you've ever heard one. That's not good for you. Seems like a clever investment. Definitely worth thinking about if you care about your future. It's the artist herself who becomes a commodity, not merely their work. He only wants to hear about struggles he isn't familiar with. Hold up a minute. Why should a preposterously affluent individual be hiding themselves in a container? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to smash through that back door. It's just a memory. If this is really an entrance to the chimney, then there must be a furnace somewhere as well. Maybe there's another way to get in. This is directly above the central furnace in the cellar. The voices probably came from here. There must be another way to wake up whoever is in there. Maybe you should talk to the lady in the bookstore. Ask what's going on. A beautiful woman tossing you a gift. Whatever you do, don't overthink it. The doorbell with the empty name card must belong to her then. Loving it. So nifty. Oh, quite a lot of them spring to mind. It's not really full of that. No one would store their drugs like that. They were just props. Why return them? That's only half true. The streets are mean, but they're not there for you. East Delta Commerce Center? This must be the name of the doomed commercial area. That is true. There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. This is a good find. Really justifies coming down here and looking around. Unplugging the ice cream maker will allow it to defrost. And it's already unplugged. There's not much else to do other than wait for it to defrost or bulk up and get stronger. Looks like they didn't make it. And let's face it, they didn't have any money left for a legal action. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Password. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. This must be the information Sauna is looking for. She knows how to make sense of it. Why did Fortress Accident have so many concept artists? Is that how it is now? We should just try all good things twice and then give up. By that logic, in descending order, usually, it's best to do them like that. It's Dora. That's what the voice said on the phone. Means pain. You're right. I'm useless and boring. There is nothing I can add to you. You should get someone better to do this with. Dubois, yes. Dora Dubois. That's sharp and precise. Why? There is still a way to win her back, you know. All you need to do is analyze. I don't know, man. What is the Holy Suzerain doing here? Something seems off. Win her back? How does that fit in here? And what is the Holy Suzerain doing here anyway? Yes. Why? That's what dolor means. You did it. You solved the case. Yes, of course. It's certainly not just an example of pareidolia, noticing patterns in noise. Worth it. Maybe a glass doored fridge in a public grocery store really isn't the best option for storing a corpse. The owner of this collection could be dumping his trash in the Whirling's container. Who knows? Could be, but this clothes in a trash lead doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere. Still, good thing to keep in mind. You could ask Everard who this person is once you're done here. An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. 
Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. The tenant must be cleaning up. That means you're too late. Nothing more to do here. Better report back to Everard. You're too late. The weasel's already back in its den. Let's see what Everard thinks about it. Maybe it's a good thing you didn't get to open this stranger's door. Go talk with Everard. Tell him what happened. There might be important information in the apartment. I mean, there might. If it's all so simple, why don't the strike breakers just go up the stairs? If it's so simple, why did the scab leader warn you of the guards blocking the way? Big guy. He means the leader of the scabs. Of course, such inside talk might also serve as a handy passphrase. Not a given name for certain. It's a taken name. The kind for artists or criminals or revolutionaries and the sort. An alias. A nom de guerre. He must think redheads are immigrants. It seems unlikely that two human beings produce genetically sterile offspring. There's something twitching in the back of your mind. A connection hidden between the numbly aching folds of your brain. It will be okay. From a purely physical point of view. These birds are used to worse things than bits of flying soil. And you'll miss. Is he not worried that you might have missed something in the autopsy? Is he not worried that you didn't get the body down? Is he not worried that you haven't found the murder weapon yet? You can just stop by whenever you're close. It should be quick enough. You can just stop by whenever you're close. It should be quick enough. You almost look like a professional. A very common name. It's obvious she's done more than booze. Why would a categorical no need a conditional no to support it. Remember those bold, new exotic revenue streams Everard said he was going to fund his harbour with? You should go back and ask him about that. It doesn't take a forensic scientist to guess it's drug-related. They look and act like the kind of guys who've done their fair share. So brown and older, Ruby might have dyed her hair, though it seems like a stretch at this point. Ruby's gone. The woman is someone else. There probably is no crab man. Don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. A shrug is good enough for us. Why say it when you can shrug it? You're not completely satisfied yet. A number of things don't add up. Let's take a look. The gist of it is, they want to turn the church into a club. But a suspicious element has overtaken the building. It's very important to understand what the gist of things is. Always consult the gist before making up your mind. This is going well. Okay, so the speed freaks want to start a club for dance music. That much checks out. Youths like music. You feel as though you might have liked music more when you were young, too. But you digress. Of course, not everything is 100% clear here. But when is it ever? Congratulations, kids. Your story sort of checks out. All in all, you really can't tell what that mean programmer grandma was talking about. Maybe your memory loss was caused by something like this. Nothing jumps out to you. Nothing out of the ordinary. How about you get out and breathe? The air in the tent is too thick for you to think clearly, haven't they? Or maybe it's that mean programmer herself who's been lying to you. What if? You rerouted the terrifying audio assault that the lead programmer's microphone setup picks up through this compressor. That's only because you're constantly hung over from said high-grade narcotics. Getting clean takes months. Are pretty much the same. But instead of falling asleep at the twelfth hour, they go on for twenty-four hours straight. This was surely just a freak accident. Thus, it must be made by youths. Should you want to get through, it might be easier to just pry the whole thing off. But you're not. This is almost certainly a matter that surpasses the limits of reason. No, this is definitely part of the same song. Something cut from it. It fits too well. What about the compressor? The one with the spiky hair was setting up to achieve some sort of parallel processing. So, it's not this one. It's the world that's a thought reader in this equation. What about that compressor Andre was setting up to achieve some sort of parallel processing? It's your health. 
You're not well enough to run around just days after you've been shot. No, this is definitely part of the same song. Something cut from it. It fits too well. He's right. No one forced you to believe that nonsense. He can't help but doubt your sincerity in this matter. There is no other way. You are a police officer. Jumping around, as this sort of music requires, is actually a taxing physical activity and should be dignified with a sports suit and many, many more tons of sugar. You begin to wonder if this speed freak has ever seen a crab before. That maniac is obviously you, which makes the power source your half-sunken Caprice 40, an abandoned power source. What could he be referring to? Will they always be looking though? Because they might go to the toilet or you might be in a different. It will help you concentrate a bit. That much is true. Hmm, you could work with this high. Like, literally, work. Solve the case, file some papers, maybe clean up your hostel room, then solve another case, then start a side investigation into the paranatural, then build a radio computer. The numbers are not there for good measure. They have an administrative purpose, one that's unfortunately been erased from your memory. But the badge is new. You used an old photo for a new badge. A new document is given to you as part of a promotion or when you lose the old one. You're pretty sure you weren't doing well, but better? Probably yes. Not great for the neighbors. You are, of course, going to have to find a new weapon and hope you can finish this case without Everard's help. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. This is probably the smart choice. Now go mail the document and don't think about it anymore. Okay, cool, honorable too. Just walk away with your head held high. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest here. No fine print. You're smart. You can read. Once the construction starts, it will probably take a few months, a year maybe, for even the most stubborn occupants to get tired of living like this. After that, they'll sell their property for cheap and move out. How very rational of you. Rational of Everard, too. He will, no doubt, benefit from the village being abandoned. How very rational of you. Rational of Everard, too. He will, no doubt, benefit from the village being abandoned. There are none. The signatures of the drunks are worthless, and once Everard is ready to start the construction, he'll need to actually get Lillian and Isabel to sign. That was a nice move, yes. Well, you could trick Everard. Get someone random to sign the document. By the time the union boss finds out, your business here will be already concluded. Or you could try to trick Everard. Get someone random to sign the document. By the time the union boss finds out, your business here will already be concluded. Again, the document doesn't seem to have any hidden clause. Maybe, just maybe, what you see is what you get with Mr. Everard. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. Once the construction starts, it will probably take a few months, a year maybe, for even the most stubborn occupants to get tired of living like this. After that, they'll sell their property for cheap and move out. Well, you could trick Everard. Get some random people to sign the document. By the time the union boss finds out, your business here will be already concluded. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. There are none. Your forged signatures are worthless and once Everard is ready to start the construction, 
He'll need to actually get Lillian and Isabel to sign. That was a nice move. Yes, once the construction starts, it'll probably take a few months, a year maybe, for even the most stubborn occupants to get tired of living like this. After that, they'll sell their property for cheap and move out. It's hard to imagine anyone enduring these conditions. The stubborn ones might last for a year, but before 40 months are through, They'll sell their property for pennies and move on. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. You could always not mail the signatures to Everard's accountant, but then you'll never see your gun again, putting the good of others before your own. You're a good man, Harry, a good and honorable man. And guns can be replaced. People can't. No one would judge you. After all, what is a cop without his gun? Is he really even a cop anymore? René, that old man in the uniform. Maybe you should show it to him when you get the chance. Yes, obviously. It is physically impossible for a human being to effectively dual-wield Zweihander swords in any kind of real-life combat situation. Considering the sheer amount of different Hiem Dalaman books out there, it's very unlikely you're ever going to find the sequel. Considering the sheer amount of different Hiem Dalaman books out there, it's very unlikely you're ever going to find the sequel. Considering the sheer amount of different Hiem Dalaman books out there, it's very unlikely you're ever going to find the sequel. Considering the sheer amount of different Hiem Dalaman books out there, it's very unlikely you're ever going to find the sequel. A brazen attempt to bilk fans for more money by splicing together old stories under a new title. Their main concern is the continuation of the franchise, not making literary history. People find comfort in familiarity, remembering old experiences, looking at old photos, reading old stories. In other words, there's no evidence that any of this mind-reading stuff is real. There you have it, a perfectly unforcifiable loop. The theory is impossible to disprove on its own grounds, meaning it's hardly a theory at all. That's because this is absolute idiocy, not even worth engaging with. There's probably something wrong with this theory. But you're the kind of person who believes anything they read in a book. So why don't you just roll with it? Who's to say the farmers aren't just cooking the books? Sounds like obvious SRV propaganda. Even worse, Katarzyna Alazia was supposed to be her real name. Where Klazia comes from, remember? God damn it. Katarzyna Alazia was supposed to be her real name. Where Klazia comes from, remember? God damn it. Klazia's hidden documents from the empty boy. Klazia's hidden documents that she said would be in a boy on the coast. Katarzyna Alazia was supposed to be her real name. Where Klazia comes from, remember? God damn it. Why they decided to title this one section in Volda is beyond you. You're right. Because they're most likely anagrams of Steban and Ulixis, the student communists. More than that, they're likely anagrams. Only four issues in, and it sounds like they've already alienated their readership. This is the SRV we're talking about. If you think those are the real numbers, there's probably a guy who wants to sell you a bridge in La Chirte. It is similar to the RCM watermark on your blazer the lieutenant mentioned. Didn't he say something about the headlights of his motor carriage? That you can read these there? You should turn them on and get in front of those headlights. See what happens. There may be information on there. A halogen watermark, he called it. Obviously, yes. The papers still sag from the clipboard in your hand. It's a defiant sight. You're a hero. It'd be nifty if you found something that way. Wouldn't it? The paper's still sagging from the clipboard in your hand. Not so nifty. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. It's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. A lot. A little. You have no idea. This all depends. Then rip them from the binder 
and hand them out. According to type of form, I got nothing here either. Logic really isn't the best faculty to have this conversation with, but it's the one you got. So sorry. That is improbable. Feeling isn't really the jurisdiction we're in right now. Fine. It takes about half an hour for you to piece one together. Mr. Raphael, which one do you want? It takes about half an hour to piece one together. Using the system you've devised, which one do you want? It takes about half an hour to piece one together. Using the system you've devised, where do you want to start? Yes, you can piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. It always begins with HDB41. Then, date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. For example, HDB41120117 The Next World Mural Is possible? Yes. Easy? No. You need to come up with a small archaeological system to reorder the remains of your past works. At the moment, all they do is fall apart in your hands. Some dates and a numeric titular system is all you have. 41 is your precinct. It's safe to say those are the initials of the officer responsible for the case. Your initials. No, the alphanumeric begins with HDB. Why, yes, your precinct number is 41. Every last alphanumeric in the files begins with it. And these are your case files. It's safe to say HDB are your initials. That's comforting to hear. Now, detective, it takes half an hour to piece one of these together, if you still want to. Here are your options. Can you keep yourself off the streets? Permeables. It's not hidden per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials that would get damaged if something happened to it. Harrier Dubois. H.D.B. Harry Dubois. H.D.B. Maybe yours will have how many cases you've solved. Does that sound like a Raphael something costaud to you, sir? Fine then. You've earned it. Damn it. Take it anyway. Since you so obviously want to be a detective costaud, you already decided to let the station handle the case. So there's no need to call the library. You should first decide what to do with the corpse before taking any further actions. Talk to Kim about it. Billy is a unisex name. Could be the deceased or his family member. This could go on forever. End it now. Someone who owns a radio computer, one might assume. It does, but who might that be? And you did unplug the black wire from said breaker box. She is referring to betraying a previous employer. Does this suggest she did it in self-defense. Small wonder. Would you talk about La Puta Madre in your journal? You do see an M, though. La Puta Madre? M is mentioned on March 9th and March 15th. On purpose? That's pretty far-fetched. You have no idea what she means. These are personal notes. Don't expect to understand all of it. Nothing to do with this right now. Start with the biggest letters in order to learn the characteristics of the style. Then work your way down. Focus on the negative space. This will tell you the parameters of each letter. Isolate each one and decipher. There must be some form of logic hidden away in there. A leftist revolutionary, a communard. He looks lost, a stranger in a strange land. Most likely, he was just stuck in the wrong box on accident. An odd-looking fellow. He doesn't seem to fit the rest of the setting. He has more of a revolutionary tinge. Of course not. The radio programmer was there. Meaning, there are more and less reasonable futures. You should follow up on that. If the opportunity presents itself, perhaps you should mention the two-millimeter hole you recently discovered. Hold on. Isn't the pale supposed to be thousands of kilometers from here? If you had something alcoholic, you could dissolve the oils, creating a cleaner and clearer connection. Not intentionally. It's a matter of perspective. The king was never meant to be seen from such an angle as you've attained.
This isn't exactly your area of expertise, though. If it's so funny, why isn't she laughing? You have the facts. Just lay them out beneath the cold light of reason. You may not have the whole story just yet, but you might still convey the seriousness of the situation. There are still some holes in your theory of the case, so best just to be clear about what you know and what you don't. But not likely. He does not feel compelled to add. Showed her what, though? If you had something alcoholic, you could dissolve the oils, creating a cleaner and clearer connection. The programmer mentioned ammonia, but anything alcoholic should dissolve the oils, creating a cleaner and clearer connection. Not intentionally. It's a matter of perspective. The king was never meant to be seen from such an angle as you've attained. But you don't have the technical expertise. Hold on. Isn't the hell supposed to be thousands of kilometers from here? Damn. So you have to buy the sneakers first. Here's a crazy plan. Get the seed money for the sneakers. Buy them. Then buy the speakers too. Then sell the speakers to Roy, that wacky vendor in the pawn shop. They're right up his alley. You'll make most of the sneaker's money back that way. Yup. Hustle and grind. One real at a time. Of course, yes. Better not risk it. Yes. It's a business secret. Let him keep it. Here we go. There's a tiny bit of truth on the table. Zoom in on it. No. It's still Ruby. Interesting that he doesn't seem aware of her existence, though. But did he first mark them up 100%? just so that he could put them on sale. Sandpaper adds extra grip for contacting an entire fleet of lorries, for example. This must be the nerve center of a well-organized operation. Looks like the smugglers have infiltrated the road network belonging to East Motor Tract. Looks like the window might be shatterproof. You may have to rethink your approach. Has the end not already come? Stones were wetted. Bloods were coughed. The locals cast under greater shadow. Is this not inappropriate when tribute should instead be placed? She doesn't actually think you're that smart. So he doesn't think she's the lady driver? So he doesn't think she's the smuggler? If they were getting drunk inside the whirling in rags, how could they know who broke into the lorry? He doesn't live in Martinez. No, it's Ruby running this ring, like Titus alluded to. But play along for now. Find out what everyone knows first. Sealing is your next lead. No, it's Ruby running this ring, like Titus alluded to. But play along for now. Find out what everyone knows first. Sealing is your next lead. Then she may have dyed it again. Hmm, the grey-haired woman. Maybe she knows something. One of them you haven't even questioned yet. Maybe the third driver knows something. If they break in, they would find what's hidden inside. Something incriminating. The other drivers would have to break in there to get the machines moving. And they would find what's hidden inside. Something incriminating. Someone here is stealing from a company called Humanox. You were right. That street hawker really was stealing from the back of his own truck. That's what a cop does, isn't it? Keep your eyes peeled. Crime is close by. Huh? Dunno. Nothing, I guess. It's not like there's something you can do. You're but a mere cop. The prisons in the greater Revachol Industrial Harbor are already full. Prisoners are expensive to maintain. The longer the sentence, the larger the cost. For her to be where she is, Wild Pines Group must have picked the right side. 51 minus 8 equals 43. Assume, for the sake of argument, that there's something to this inane conspiracy. If Sale is keeping tabs on everyone, maybe they can fill in some of your memory holes. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? Something almost self-explanatory. He thinks the deserter has more than just this case in him. 44 years here. The situation might have changed drastically by the time you locate it. Time is of the essence. Maybe this is all her plan. 
she might have heard about you. This means it's well funded. Technology like that, a major player must be financing it. A calculated response to say, why the hell did you snoop on my radio? Would be reasonable, but it would confirm he likes the station. Instead, he dismisses it. He must be embarrassed by his affection for Speed Freaks FM. Laws Radio City? That's the same book the working class woman was reading at the book stand. They're too poor to have a phone line. Good. You have a name now. Abstinence could have immediate positive effects on your health. Joyce said the dead man went by Laley. He must have gotten that from Laleystad, the name of the county. That's it. He pulled the plug. So the union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. Seems like Clasia wasn't lying when she said she made the call. This corroborates. Why not? It's not unlike the pattern from the racist lorry man's boots. A stylized map of Rivershaw. Oh, duh. Why didn't you think of that? That's a pretty good question, actually. She clearly doesn't know anything about the secret passage. This must be the pale emitter Fat Angus mentioned. The explosion of static you're hearing. It's the Ulan frequency. Blasted from that pale emitter Fat Angus mentioned. If she knows that about you, she must know your real name too. All of this just means that you're effective. Criminals know you and are scared of you. No idea who these people are, literally. This is the right thing to do. Clean up, keep a cool head. This must be how the twins heard the radio in their heads. They must have been standing by when she tested it. This must be how the twins heard the radio in their heads. They must have been standing by when she tested it. Magazines. You should look through them. You will upset the balance of power in Martinez. The deadlock between the company and the union will destabilize. If you can't predict it, there's nothing you could have done. It's a minor point. Don't worry too much about this. There are bigger fish. Or people living in desert climates with sparse vegetation and little drinking water. The sun isn't always that great. Think of people living in desert climates with sparse vegetation and little drinking water. She thinks it was a riddle. She must not even know of that business. Better that way. What about the case? You don't have time for this, at least not right now. Maybe later. Don't worry, it's not a trap. Everyone can see you go in there, together. You'll be fine. It's more likely that your father wasn't even around to beat you. No, no. Gary seems way too scientific to get involved in some messy love conundrum. There is no potart smell. Just making it clear. It's racist rhetoric. You have cold hard facts to protect you from heartbreak. And that is enough. Intellectual independence. Definitely something worth celebrating. Where would you even get a ticket? You can't just pack your bags and leave. All 2,372 members. That can't be right. The special borscht seems a bit odd in the list. Of course. Why didn't you think of it? Motive shit. Pig style. He was probably collecting tear or stealing stuff that wasn't nailed down. Does he have a little crush on Lillian? That's very cheap for a printed t-shirt that's still in pretty good shape. Seabirds most likely. Gulls and such. Looking at his weirs, talking to him, that might give you more clues. This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh God, a needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You'll just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it right now. You'll just have to hope Everett wasn't lying and the union can track her down in time. Photonic sensitivity is not generally acknowledged by the medical establishment. The light has been removed and rewired. That's two transformations. But what about the third? A twentieth of your shares is a sensible offer. Very divisible as far as numbers go. He lost his cap when he lost his head. Perhaps he's looking for the head. There weren't any other small girls in the village. That's fine. You don't need her to tell you, because you 
already know it. She's referring to Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage. She is memorizing your badge number. As the shipments approach Revachon, hmm, somehow you suspect something more sinister. Uncovering Union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Let's be honest, you have no idea what that meant. inter isolary microwave compression? Moving on. Didn't Titus mention that Ruby ran a complex operation out of her lorry? Could it be connected? Only one way to find out. Investigate. Remember those bold, new exotic revenue streams Everard said he was going to fund his harbour with? You should go back and ask him about that. Remember those bold, new exotic revenue streams Everard said he was going to fund his harbour with? You should go back and ask him about that. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. No, wait. The chief negotiator heard it from a man at the gates. Surely the Wild Pines group has more effective channels of information. After all, 2,200 people are on strike. This is a big deal for them. She's memorizing your badge number. She must have been suspecting something for a while now. Consider this. Perhaps she has been planning it all along. That you convince yourself into colluding with her. She wants you to help her gain leverage to restart negotiations with the union. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. The lieutenant was testing her. Asking a small detail first to see if she knew him better than she let on. She passed. One is obviously the scab leader at the harbour gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. No idea. Maybe she's right. It's a better idea not to confront them. Also, there's something wrong with your brain. This was so easy. How could you fail it? One must be at the harbour gates causing trouble. Directing strike breakers, perhaps. You can hear the sounds of the ruckus coming from there all the time. This is so embarrassing. You have no idea. There's something wrong with your brain. Luckily, the lieutenant still has his. You wouldn't even know where to start. The Union has over 2,000 men. Her bartering mind cannot fathom that you didn't ask anything in return. Her mind races to the conclusion that most benefits her interests. That doesn't mean she's wrong, though. The lieutenant might have, but I don't remember you logging anything as anything, Harry. Does it matter? Or has her mind been made up for quite a while now? And what about the next time? Events are already in motion. Whether your actions accelerated or momentarily retarded their progress, even the lieutenant cannot really say. That is very, very likely, yes. No, it was more like he wanted things to get worse. In secret, of course. That's wrong. You don't get into loops. She must really want you to look into the drugs. Otherwise, she'd tell you. Have I underestimated the Union's ferocity? She has to ask herself by now. The prints are hers. You wonder what Everard has to say about this. She refers to your corresponding ages. You're no dummy yourself. And the crown on your head as you lay in the casket. It's more for her. Way more. Someone else you've met may have been exposed as well. The strange grey-haired woman in her lorry. What didn't fall into the ocean was used as scrap. What wasn't used as scrap was thrown into the ocean. There's something you're missing. Out of the rain and into the gutter. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? That's Kuno on the lens. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. This is clearly feverish nonsense. Let's rationalize it away. Grab the radio or tools or do something normal. This is preposterous. Neither sound nor scent work anything as he's describing. What does he even mean? 
Even if a package arrives, how will it get to you if it hasn't got your name on it? This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion. He doesn't know anything because no one tells him anything. He's an outsider. That's why Gaston isn't a union member. Everard needs a neutral party to speak his ideas. All that blunt data must have triggered an information hoarding reflex of sorts. Think of it like a small seizure. It will pass. He's known Gaston all his life. Probably knows his every move better than himself. Of course he saw right through the deceit. Oh, he knows what you mean. Keeping it to yourself now may yield some leverage if you ever need it. Oh, he must have already figured out Gaston's cheating. Lattice works. Like Lettuce Works. I see what you did there. Don't ever do that again. No problem. You just need his for research and development first. Just as a prototype, of course. Stall now and the sandwich is forever lost. Did he feel like he has to prove he can still pull his weight? Doesn't need handouts. You're not going to get anything out of this guy. If the old carabineer knew something, it will be buried with him. It's time to crack this case. The next logical move is to go back upstairs to Clasia's room. Really inspect that window. A sound strategy. He's the leader. It's not going to be that easy. Everard wants you to dirty your hands getting these signatures, and he will quickly find out if you just mail. Probably did the right thing. You can't trust that slug, Everard. You know he's going to play you somehow. Wouldn't a grave on top of a grave be just a big hole? What's hard about holes? Judging by that, Van Eyck is some sort of musician. Or, killer, that woman who couldn't choose between him and Gaston, Jean-Marie. She must be the reason René is so bitter. He holds her indecisiveness against all women. You never know. He might know something. This is a good vantage point. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Exiled, Joyce said, Guillaume ran and his nephew, Frissel, was shot in his place. She's still here because you're still here. This isn't case related, you think. Is she such a working class woman? Why isn't she working? He's right. Missing person cases most often involve runaway teenagers or demented old people. The victims usually turn up by themselves after a day or two spent missing. There's not much searching to do. Okay, it must be asked then. What are you doing here? Why are you pursuing this? Is it a hunch? It's got to be something else then. Why else would you be asking her if it wasn't? Gone for around 36 hours then. Damn, this is a missing persons case. Lena also said that it couldn't be heard by any other animal, including humans. What you're hearing must just be a regular bird. Don't listen to this guy. The theory was solid. He's just jealous. Move on. It's no use harassing her further. Because that's how the world works. Some stories never get finished. You shouldn't expect there to be a tidy, satisfying ending. There isn't. If only you had more time. More resources. Who knows what you could have come up with. Give up. You'll never find the answer. There's no other copy of Dick Mullen and the Mistaken Identity here. Maybe if there had been more money and less speed. Or that, yes. Either way, you might have been able to come up with an answer. But not like this. It still doesn't make sense. But who cares? Yes, Dick Mullen, the famous detective, killed his best friend and the dame he just nailed in cold blood. But why'd he do it? Unclear. Sure, why not? Everyone knows politicians are corrupt. And what's more corrupt than letting your entitled spawn run around offing people? It makes sense. Junkies and art collectors both need a steady stream of income. And what better way to generate income than murdering a couple of people? Sounds good. You can't trust the fuzz after all. They say they've got your back, but do they really? More like they've got a knife in your back. Sure, yes, they died of an overabundance of love. Just loved each other to death. 
couldn't get enough love. And now, they're dead. Okay, sure. A defunct political ideology came and murdered a couple of people. History repeats itself, and the whole cycle starts again. It was probably nothing anyway. Just a little thought you had. There really isn't much difference between these two guns. Didn't she repeatedly tell you her husband isn't missing though? Did you not hear what he said? There's a culture war raging out there, and this unlikely hero might be our last, best chance. That's all this is about. In reality, there is no culture war, but there is a struggle for mating privileges always has been. And this man is outgunned and completely ill-equipped for this conflict. This really isn't about you right now. It starts with the genetic lottery. A few are born handsome, imposing giants, while most, like this guy, are just average. The less fortunate have an underdeveloped limb, a sense missing, or worse. But there's a lot one can do with average, and this guy hasn't. Now past his prime, it's unlikely he ever will. While others dominate the killing fields, he will sink to the bottom of the mating pool. It's his defeatist, self-pitying mentality, a sense that the world owes him a mate because he perceives himself to be a good guy. He isn't interested in evolving, improving, or working for it. He thinks by just being, he is entitled to love and respect. But the truth is, there's a hundred million men like him competing for every single female out there. And his attitude virtually guarantees he'll never come out on top. It's a vicious cycle he's unlikely to ever break. The lack of female affection makes him bitter. His bitterness, in turn, reduces his chances of gaining that affection. And maybe he wouldn't be such a bigot if he had found love sooner. But so it goes. That's how he played the hand he was dealt. At least he's blissfully ignorant to the cyclical nature of his situation. Then she may have died it again. Hmm, the grey-haired woman. Maybe she knows something. One of them you haven't even questioned yet. Maybe the third driver knows something. If they break in, they would find what's hidden inside. Something incriminating. The other drivers would have to break in there to get the machines moving. And they would find what's hidden inside. Something incriminating. Someone here is stealing from a company called Humanox. You were right. That street hawker really was stealing from the back of his own truck. That's what a cop does, isn't it? Keep your eyes peeled. Crime is close by, huh? Dunno. Nothing, I guess. It's not like there's something you can do. You're but a mere cop. Attaboy. The prisons in the greater Revachol Industrial Harbor are already full. Prisoners are expensive to maintain. The longer the sentence, the larger the cost. For her to be where she is, Wild Pines Group must have picked the right side. 51 minus 8 equals 43. Assume, for the sake of argument, that there's something to this inane conspiracy. If Sale is keeping tabs on everyone, maybe they can fill in some of your memory holes. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder something almost self-explanatory he thinks the deserter has more than just this case in him 44 years here the situation might have changed drastically by the time you locate it time is of the essence maybe this is all her plan she might have heard about you this means it's well funded technology like that a major player must be financing it. A calculated response to say, why the hell did you snoop on my radio? Would be reasonable, but it would confirm he likes the station. Instead, he dismisses it. He must be embarrassed by his affection for Speed Freaks FM. Laws Radio City? That's the same book the working class woman was reading at the book stand.
They're too poor to have a phone line. Good. You have a name now. Abstinence could have immediate positive effects on your health. Joyce said the dead man went by Laley. He must have gotten that from Laleystad. The name of the county. That's it. He pulled the plug. So the union has a phone. And there's one further down the coast. Got it. Seems like Clasia wasn't lying when she said she made the call. This corroborates. Why not? It's not unlike the pattern from the racist lorry man's boots. A stylized map of Rivershaw. Oh, duh. Why didn't you think of that? That's a pretty good question, actually. She clearly doesn't know anything about the secret passage. This must be the pale emitter Fat Angus mentioned. The explosion of static you're hearing. It's the Yulan frequency. Blasted from that pale emitter Fat Angus mentioned. If she knows that about you, she must know your real name too. All of this just means that you're effective. Criminals know you and are scared of you. No idea who these people are, literally. This is the right thing to do. Clean up, keep a cool head. This must be how the twins heard the radio in their heads. They must have been standing by when she tested it. This must be how the twins heard the radio in their heads. They must have been standing by when she tested it. Magazines. You should look through them. You will upset the balance of power in Martinez. The deadlock between the company and the union will destabilize. If you can't predict it, there's nothing you could have done. It's a minor point. Don't worry too much about this. There are bigger fish. Or people living in desert climates with sparse vegetation and little drinking water. The sun isn't always that great. Think of people living in desert climates with sparse vegetation and little drinking water. She thinks it was a riddle. She must not even know of that business. Better that way. What about the case? You don't have time for this. At least not right now. Maybe later. Don't worry. It's not a trap. Everyone can see you go in there together. You'll be fine. It's more likely that your father wasn't even around to beat you. No, no. Gary seems way too scientific to get involved in some messy love conundrum. There is no potard smell. Just making it clear. It's racist rhetoric. You have cold hard facts to protect you from heartbreak. And that is enough. Intellectual independence. Definitely something worth celebrating. Where would you even get a ticket? You can't just pack your bags and leave. All 2,372 members. That can't be right. The special Borscht seems a bit odd in the list. Of course. Why didn't you think of it? Motive shit. Pig style. He was probably collecting tear or stealing stuff that wasn't nailed down. Does he have a little crush on Lillian? That's very cheap for a printed t-shirt that's still in pretty good shape. Seabirds most likely. Gulls and such. Looking at his weirs. Talking to him. That might give you more clues. This is a pawn shop and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh God, a needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it right now. You just have to hope Everett wasn't lying and the union can track her down in time. Photonic sensitivity is not generally acknowledged by the medical establishment. The light has been removed and rewired. That's two transformations. But what about the third? A twentieth of your shares is a sensible offer. Very divisible as far as numbers go. He lost his cap when he lost his head. Perhaps he's looking for the head. There weren't any other small girls in the village. That's fine. You don't need her to tell you. Because you already know it. She's referring to Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage. She is memorizing your badge number. As the shipments approach Rivershaw? Hmm. Somehow you suspect something more sinister. Uncovering Union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Let's be honest. You have no idea what that meant. inter isolary microwave compression? Moving on. Didn't Titus mention that Ruby ran a complex operation out of her lorry? Could it be connected? Only one way to find out. 
investigate. Remember those bold, new exotic revenue streams Everard said he was going to fund his harbour with? You should go back and ask him about that. Remember those bold, new exotic revenue streams Everard said he was going to fund his harbour with? You should go back and ask him about that. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. No, wait. The chief negotiator heard it from a man at the gates. Surely the Wild Pines group has more effective channels of information. After all, 2,200 people are on strike. This is a big deal for them. She's memorizing your badge number. She must have been suspecting something for a while now. Consider this. Perhaps she has been planning it all along. That you convince yourself into colluding with her. She wants you to help her gain leverage to restart negotiations with the union. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. Within reason. The lieutenant was testing her. Asking a small detail first to see if she knew him better than she let on. She passed. One is obviously the scab leader at the harbour gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. No idea. Maybe she's right. It's a better idea not to confront them. Also, there's something wrong with your brain. This was so easy. How could you fail it? One must be at the harbour gates causing trouble. Directing strike breakers, perhaps. You can hear the sounds of the ruckus coming from there all the time. This is so embarrassing. You have no idea. There's something wrong with your brain. Luckily, the lieutenant still has his. You wouldn't even know where to start. The union has over 2,000 men. Her bartering mind cannot fathom that you didn't ask anything in return. Her mind races to the conclusion that most benefits her interests. That doesn't mean she's wrong, though. The lieutenant might have, but I don't remember you logging anything as anything, Harry. Does it matter? Or has her mind been made up for quite a while now? All that's left is the denouement. And what about the next time? Events are already in motion. Whether your actions accelerated or momentarily retarded their progress, even the lieutenant cannot really say. How do we get out of here? That is very, very likely, yes. No. It was more like he wanted things to get worse. In secret, of course. That's wrong. You don't get into loops. She must really want you to look into the drugs. Otherwise, she'd tell you. Have I underestimated the union's ferocity? She has to ask herself by now. The prints are hers. You wonder what Everard has to say about this. She refers to your corresponding ages. You're no dummy yourself. And the crown on your head as you lay in the casket. The negation of being. It's more for her. Way more. Someone else you've met may have been exposed as well. The strange grey-haired woman in her lorry. What didn't fall into the ocean was used as scrap. What wasn't used as scrap was thrown into the ocean. There's something you're missing. Out of the rain and into the gutter. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? That's Kuno on the lens. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Kupris Kinema motor carriage sounds likely. This is clearly feverish nonsense. Let's rationalize it away. Grab the radio or tools or do something normal. This is preposterous. Neither sound nor scent work anything as he's describing. What does he even mean? Even if a package arrives, how will it get to you? if it hasn't got your name on it. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. He doesn't know anything because no one tells him anything. He's an outsider. That's why Gaston isn't a union member. Everard needs a neutral party to speak his ideas. All that blunt data must have triggered an information hoarding reflex of sorts. Think of it like a small seizure it will pass. He's known Gaston all his life. 
probably knows his every move better than himself. Of course he saw right through the deceit. Oh, he knows what you mean. Keeping it to yourself now may yield some leverage if you ever need it. Oh, he must have already figured out Gaston's cheating. Lattice works. Like lettuce works. I see what you did there. Don't ever do that again. No problem. You just need his for research and development first. Just as a prototype, of course. Stall now and the sandwich is forever lost. Did he feel like he has to prove he can still pull his weight? Doesn't need handouts. You're not going to get anything out of this guy. If the old carabineer knew something, it will be buried with him. It's time to crack this case. The next logical move is to go back upstairs to Clasia's room. Really inspect that window. A sound strategy. He's the leader. It's not going to be that easy. Everard wants you to dirty your hands getting these signatures, and he will quickly find out if you just mail. Probably did the right thing. You can't trust that slug, Everard. You know he's going to play you somehow. Wouldn't a grave on top of a grave be just a big hole? What's hard about holes? Judging by that, Van Eyck is some sort of musician. Or killer. That woman who couldn't choose between him and Gaston, Jean-Marie. She must be the reason René is so bitter. He holds her indecisiveness against all women. You never know. He might know something. This is a good vantage point. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Exiled, Joyce said Guillaume ran and his nephew, Friso, was shot in his place. She's still here because you're still here. This isn't case-related, you think. Is she such a working-class woman? Why isn't she working? He's right. Missing person cases most often involve runaway teenagers or demented old people. The victims usually turn up by themselves after a day or two spent missing. There's not much searching to do. Okay, it must be asked then. What are you doing here? Why are you pursuing this? Is it a hunch? It's got to be something else then. Why else would you be asking her if it wasn't gone for around 36 hours then? Damn, this is a missing persons case. Lena also said that it couldn't be heard by any other animal, including humans. What you're hearing must just be a regular bird. Don't listen to this guy. The theory was solid. He's just jealous. Move on. It's no use harassing her further, because that's how the world works. Some stories never get finished. You shouldn't expect there to be a tidy, satisfying ending. There isn't. If only you had more time, more resources. Who knows what you could have come up with? Give up. You'll never find the answer. There's no other copy of Dick Mullen and the Mistaken Identity here. Maybe if there had been more money and less speed. Or that, yes. Either way, you might have been able to come up with an answer. But not like this. It still doesn't make sense. But who cares? Yes, Dick Mullen, the famous detective, killed his best friend and the dame he just nailed in cold blood. But why'd he do it? Unclear. Sure, why not? Everyone knows politicians are corrupt. And what's more corrupt than letting your entitled spawn run around offing people? It makes sense. Junkies and art collectors both need a steady stream of income. And what better way to generate income than murdering a couple of people? Sounds good. You can't trust the fuzz after all. They say they've got your back, but do they really? More like they've got a knife in your back. Sure, yes, they died of an overabundance of love. Just loved each other to death. Couldn't get enough love. And now, they're dead. Okay, sure. A defunct political ideology came and murdered a couple of people. History repeats itself. And the whole cycle starts again. He's probably right. It was probably nothing anyway. Just a little thought you had. There really isn't much difference between these two guns. Didn't she repeatedly tell you her husband isn't missing though? Okay, but don't literally say that. That's right. Guns and swords are the only things that will protect you 
from youth culture and demographic change. That's how badly you're losing. You don't even realize it's happening. Thank God this hero is here, fighting for all of us. Did you not hear what he said? There's a culture war raging out there, and this unlikely hero might be our last, best chance. That's all this is about. In reality, there is no culture war, but there is a struggle for mating privileges. Always has been. And this man is outgunned and completely ill-equipped for this conflict. This really isn't about you right now. It starts with the genetic lottery. A few are born handsome, imposing giants, while most, like this guy, are just average. The less fortunate have an underdeveloped limb, a sense missing, or worse. But there's a lot one can do with average, and this guy hasn't. Now past his prime, it's unlikely he ever will. While others dominate the killing fields, he will sink to the bottom of the mating pool. It's his defeatist, self-pitying mentality, a sense that the world owes him a mate because he perceives himself to be a good guy. He isn't interested in evolving, improving, or working for it. He thinks by just being, he is entitled to love and respect. But the truth is, there's a hundred million men like him competing for every single female out there. And his attitude virtually guarantees he'll never come out on top. It's a vicious cycle he's unlikely to ever break. The lack of female affection makes him bitter. His bitterness, in turn, reduces his chances of gaining that affection easily. And maybe he wouldn't be such a bigot if he had found love sooner. But so it goes. That's how he played the hand he was dealt. At least he's blissfully ignorant to the cyclical nature of his situation. Just be nice. Or tear him to pieces or ignore him. You're not going to change him. We know he's been stuck on the island after the tire broke, but that means if he can see it too, then you're not totally insane. He's right, you've lost your mind, but that means if he can see it too, then you're not totally insane. But then, who watches him while you're coming back here? Wait, but then, who watches over him while you're coming back? There's something you're not getting here that he has just realized. Lillian, you could ask her maybe. Lillian, you could ask her. There's something you're not getting here that he's realizing. Did you get everything, detective? He could be referring to Joyce in her youth. They must have listened to Disco when they came here. But it's hard to say. Of course, maybe the clears asked him to. The Clears know everything about Martinez. Of course they know him too. Maybe they asked him to. That's around the time the Clears came to power. Nothing mysterious about missing one thing in a hundred. Dust yourself off and proceed. The connection comes to you like a splash of cold water. Dark, cold water. Oh no, the connection doesn't come to you on such a pivotal moment. He acknowledges it. Here we go. A twist. Behind the dark bend. No, that's not quite it, is it? Here it is, the bend in the river. By God, we are on the edge, in the very end, and you can't even remember what you're trying to connect, can you? While the murder suspect stares at you with contempt. Before, when you asked him about the union, he said it was a disappointment. They promised him something political. That's, regrettably, all you've got. Yes, if he really wanted to kill him so bad, he would have done. There must have been a thousand black days on these islands. His health ailing. That's it. That's what you weren't connecting yourself. Exhaust him with proof. Pile it all on him. Get a confession. That's right. Pile it all on him now. Three should do it. Maybe four. Wait, here it comes. The goddamn Maybells. The dried Maybells on Clasio's roof. Wait, here it comes. The goddamn Maybells. 
the dried Maybells on Clasia's roof. There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. They're revolutionary symbols from the war. Who cares? There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. And on Clasia's balcony. There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. And Maybells on Clasia's balcony. Who cares? There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. And on Clasia's balcony. Is this a coincidence? So he's continued killing after hostilities ended. Okay. Okay. He knows her, but hadn't heard the name. The vision was you remembering that. You got him going. Connect every little piece now. Wrap this up like a gift. When? Before or after the war? The motive. This is where the motive is going to come from. No, not shush. He could say he was taking the fall for someone. Insane. Coerced. It's useless in court without a motive. Don't mess this up. Now, a motive. You still need a motive. The confession alone isn't enough. He could say he was taking the fall for someone. Insane. Coerced. It's useless in court without a motive. Don't mess this up. The solution. Don't leave any loose ends. Get him on everything. You've almost got him. Just the last little push. Tie up every loose end now. There's no other chance. Leave no stone unturned. Get him on what matters most. A little inconsistency. He was surprised to hear her name, Clasia, before. Would he not have seen it on the documents? That must be the representative of the harbour company who came in on her boat. This one's gone. Make up somehow. Connect something else. Fast. Rightly so. Fix this now. Push on extra carefully. No, it's not. Fix this now. Move on extra carefully. Be incredibly minute. Also, a little inconsistency here. He was surprised to hear her name, Clasia, before. Would he not have seen it on the documents? Who knows what he's seen and done over the years. The lieutenant had a camera. A camera. He could have taken a picture. Now they'll all think you're mad. Oh my God. Kim had the camera. The deserter. He's been here for a long time. A good place to hide. Relatively safe from the snow and the rain. He doesn't recognize it. 51 minus 8 equals 43. The chances of there being important shit there are rather high. Yes, you're right. You're not a circuit bender. You don't know about these things. Wait, actually, this would not be very good military technology if programmer ladies could control it remotely. It's probably not connected to the front or just plain broken. Nice idea, though. An idea lights up in your head. It's... Is this not odd? Not a lot of critical theory around these days. Someone has been squatting here very recently. The fire guy the twins mentioned. Someone has been squatting here very recently. No, it's just your imagination. You can't hear such things. Use your powers of deduction. You knew the magic bug was nowhere near here. The phasmid is impairing your judgment. Use your powers of deduction. You knew the bug was nowhere near here. The phasmid is impairing your judgment. Great idea. Then we can get the things inside. The joyrider must have left something good inside. Guns. Papers. Maybe a cool jacket. A joyrider jacket. Wait for the low tide. Then you should be able to access the cabin. Does he know something about the driver of this vehicle? Unless someone. Someone was trying to fake his own death and start life anew. Does he know something about that speed racer? The damage is too extensive. This was 20% of the station's vehicular budget. What rationality? That something is the sound of your brain cells given their two weeks notice. That won't happen. No objections. It's mathematically impossible to achieve a classless society. Everyone knows this. Click, click, click. The realization comes to you like a picture puzzle coming together. His name is Raoul Courtenar. The dead man's name is Elise Courtenar. He's brothers with the deceased. No, probably foster brothers. Elise was put into a foster home. Remember? Courty. Courtenar. Major Raoul Courty Courtenar. Friends with Lely. 
Raoul and Lely. Um, this might be a very bad moment to come up with this, but he's courty, right? The man he's mourning was called Elise Cortenar. Courty could be short for Cortenar. Could they be brothers? Ask him that. What could go wrong? It's a discovery. Oh God. In the cafeteria. Before. Titus confessed to it. Bad argument. He doesn't know local mobsters. The Hardy Boys confessed to hanging him. All. Together. Titus said, we took him out back and hanged him. He said it loud. In a public place. Your mind grinds to a halt. All you can see is the revolver in the man's armored hand, swaying, pointed at her. You move your mouth like a fish gasping for air. The two little white figures in the end are from when they moved to Rivershaw. They're recent. Remember what the net picker said? It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. He hasn't been here before, either. You're after measurable performance, not tales of happy memories. Numbers, please. How many years did he work? What profits did he earn? Some complex calculations are taking place in that intoxicated mind of his. The strike might take forever. Maybe you should just cut your losses while you can. If it sounds like it makes no sense, that's because it doesn't. That's almost certainly anatomically impossible. It becomes abundantly clear to you how this man managed to lose his keys, business, friends, and girlfriend. That, and she's also keeping an eye on you. The two things are unconnected. Your question didn't make sense. You will never get an answer. That's how it is with these little idiots. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war. But this could be important. Wait. Stop everything. Back this up. What are bad words? There's no system to this. Sound logic. Division of labor. She leaves the skepticism to the skeptic. It's going to be quite a few years before nature is able to completely take care of a motor carriage. You can always come back in a few months and see if you still want to give it a proper send-off. Indeed, you're always confused as to your whereabouts. It's not going well. Present something now. Something sane and clear. Make your case. There is a perfect explanation for that. She's right. This is not going well for you. You have to present something coherent and sane. That makes sense. Yes, he wasn't quite sure about the straggler before he heard this detail. It must have convinced him. He's not getting it. This is good. They can't deny it. He thinks this detail bolsters your straggler theory. If he is that certain, and they are not. Come on. This has to be good stuff for him to backpedal out of it at first mention. This has to be good stuff for him to backpedal out of it at first mention. He would immediately backpedal out of it. Damn it. Yes. That. This is not the first time he's seen you all decked out in Wacko. Is this Guillaume Bevy blonde and partial to sunglasses? It's almost too easy. Haggling with incoherent drunks. In all fairness, that might be attributed to the retrograde amnesia. Snakes or intestinal worms? That's a much more reasonable price right there. Makes sense now. If you drink this, then you'll die. That's a fact. And that's why we're going to save you from yourself and store this as a sellable item. Go sell it at the pawn shop for a profit. She wanted to see if you would do it. And if she would, you should look around your shack. Maybe she's rented it out to others too. She probably heard the Lieutenant's Kanema drive by. She probably heard the Lieutenant's Kanema drive by and it woke her up, just like it did you. Those would be the dance music enthusiasts in their tent. Interesting. You could look into this ruckus if you have the time. Around here, it's probably even more common. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Ruby was here. You know it. Yes, this confirms Titus's story. These are the same belts as the one the victim was hanged with. Indeed, it appears so. This is where the belt came from. Remember what Trent Heidelstam said about Veld? Oh yes, it can. Easily.
you're underestimating corporate espionage, Gary. There's no such thing as plasma-powered weaponry, because there's no such thing as plasma. Within this self-contained logic bubble, a loop, he is not wrong. One you absolutely don't have time for. Let's be done with this idiocy. No, they haven't. Anyone whose livelihood isn't predicated on creating and maintaining preposterous mysteries, it makes sense that a technologically advanced nation that produces a lot of microtechnology would have foreign governments as customers. That, in itself, doesn't prove anything. Yellow man. Interesting. This is something to ask him about. After a little probing first, yellow man. Might this be the owner of that mug you found in the trash? This is something to ask him about, after a little probing first. But how is this combustible fluid lit? Maybe it was pinball. Hmm. Does this mean you were in his apartment, admiring his colonial mug collection? Perhaps it would be interesting to tell him the stupid way. This is a considerable expense to him. One month's wage, most likely. Yes. Sightings of mirages are constant. A mirage is a constant phenomenon that people have no time to report when a war is going on. A moose that looks like any other moose. What's going on here? He's kidding, right? You should ask the red-headed boy. Kuno, a meat-eating stick insect? Does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? This seems unlikely. He has clearly done his math on this. There is no surprising him or swaying his opinion. After this is your last chance to talk to Gary. Not exactly a model of accessible and accountable governance. God, of course it does. These moral intern types? Probably not, no. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this thing is dangerous somehow. And then, soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Clearly, he has already formed his own theory. Because you're the best qualified. No, that doesn't seem right. Of course, it's only a theory. Look at you. It's because you're a failure. They sent you to slight. Precinct 57. If you're so well qualified, why can't you remember why you were sent? Anyway, don't keep the lieutenant waiting. You pick over what's left of your frontal cortex, but no compelling explanations emerge. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic who showed up three days late wearing piss stained disco garb. You weren't sent here to win. The thing is, the RCM employs relatively few oxen. It's clear that what the lieutenant may lack in musculature, he makes up for in other ways. You look dumb if you keep the lieutenant waiting for too long. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. Sure, a perfectly good explanation. It dissolved in its own venom. Go on then. Ask about more gnomes or whatever. Alas, always, alas, and then it was gone. Isn't that overly convenient? The news in the thirties, and two decades have elapsed since the new. So it must be the fifties now. Already did that. Everard's money wasn't gonna last forever. You need more. Every day is a new expense. No mystery here. This is Clasia's handiwork. She cut the line. It must have been the whirling landline that Clausian nicked. It must have been the whirling landline that Clausian nicked. No mystery here. This is Clausia's handiwork. The water lock. That was broken. Could this be it? You can't go around Revachol feeling grown men's hands. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more concrete information. Be real. Gary is not going to help with this. The new was in the thirties. And two decades have elapsed since the new. So it must be the fifties now. A little missing persons puzzle might just be the thing to take your mind off the hangover. So she couldn't have made it up or imagined it. It was probably his colleagues from the union. This goes without saying. 
But nonetheless, don't give out his name. He's practically saying, yes, a yes to everything you said. It's not like you blew it wide open, but there's a little crack in there somewhere. This elevator must have been used to transport pinball machines to and from the upstairs workshop. He's not a drinker. Another good thing about him. This is not completely ludicrous. Him and Titus were the only detectives of the bunch. Titus more, but Eugene at least knew how to think along. Yeah, those numbers he's adding up must be making good sense to him right now. You're guessing there aren't that many others. Or you broke the bird. That's why you brought the replacement. Out of guilt. It's safe to say this is about your karaoke performance. From the comfort of his own bed. From the comfort of his own bed. From the comfort of his own bed. Because he's not a bartender. Relax. Knocking out the cafeteria manager is not going to solve your lodging problem. Not in the long run. There are these things called days. You sleep between them. He's saying they'll come after you've slept. Just making clear you got that. Hmm. Kitchen. It's right nearby. What if you asked the cook? Hmm. The kitchen is close by. Maybe the cook would be more forthcoming. Or you broke the bird. It can also be that. I think Sylvie even. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. Honestly, the place is a powder keg. It must be his name. Garanti. Garanti Quebec. Sounds representative. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garanti Quebec. Please. It's not funny. It's late. He's working. Success. They admitted to unlawful collaboration to derail the investigation. Seems like they wanted to give Clasia a second chance to play along. She still didn't. It has to be good if he won't let you pursue it. Looks like the lieutenant thinks so too. It has to be good if he won't let you pursue it. He understood what you were trying to do. Take an inventory of them. When the shit starts spinning, it will not land on Mr. Clare. That's the deal here. The fixer will ignore the notion completely, focusing on Titus's culpability. This is where an autopsy would come in handy. You have to work with what you know. The autopsy did not reveal anything too conflicting this far. You just have to wing it. Make them a bit more uncomfortable first. Then see if it all adds up. We've hit a wall. Giving the body a more thorough look might give us some leverage. Just saying. Or, don't get in his face yet. Wait. You may need to establish yourself in his eyes later. If you fail, doing this may give you a fresh chance. This is their last play, this tape. Their story is in tatters. A mess. It might be nice to listen to, but at this point, you don't need to. He understood what you were doing. Take an inventory of them. Okay, it's bad with those boots. Don't be stingy now. He knows he's avoiding the more serious implication. And so does Titus. A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans. Bullet trajectories. Webs of human emotion. All channeled into a single thought. The window Clasia gave for the time of death was from 11.30 to 12.15. Gladly, sure. Why not? Let's hear what some of our friends have to say. It's very unlikely to help, but sure. We can go to Theory Town. Let's move. No one? Really? Absolutely nothing. Just me, huh? Wow. Well, good luck. Just me, huh? Wow. Well, good luck. Really? Absolutely nothing. No one. This guy barely understands what he's talking about. It's called a radio, you believe. The gardener may have played you a game when she stormed out. She has her own plan. Could this complex operation be the one Joyce asked you to look into? Probably, though they'll never open up about it. You'll have to keep investigating. Of course. Ruby is the lady driver in this great big jam mystery. Probably. You'll have to keep investigating. They'll never open up about it. You know this already. 
It all fits together. Ruby, the missing Hardy, was present at the hanging and running the drug trade. Say, hard to remember with your brain in overload, but have you smoked lately? A cigarette may help you. Say, hard to remember with your brain in overload, but have you smoked lately? A cigarette may help you. There are many pieces that fit together that way, Eugene. Face it, this complex operation is probably something illegal. This one's going into some kind of insane death spiral to preserve his version of the world. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. He knows they had to be recent for those lines to still read. This wasn't a failure. He's thinking, all right. Glenn gets silence for an answer. Push forward with this theory. You don't need to prove anything. Doubt is enough for now. And Titus must have some. Phase three, motive. The last component. Time for a logics demonstration. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she's skipped town. This is good, is it? It proves there are things about the whirling in rags that he doesn't know. He must see that. This man is smarter than he looks. We can work with this. That's a solid logic structure. Do something. This is bad. He sees it. This is coming together. He must. It doesn't fit well, but it fits. And he knows it. It doesn't all have to fit. The chance is still way smaller than it coming from the roof. And he knows it. Still, the key here is a strange coincidence. And he knows it. Boy, you really haven't given me a lot to work with here. You should explore better. For now, just wing it. That wasn't strong. Still, he's thinking about it now. And he knows gunning up has nothing to do with this. Phase two. Murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt. In the shape of a gun. He's angry because he knows you're right. What he's saying only confirms your theory. That's all you needed. Doubt. It's that simple. No, no. He already said that. And nothing good came of it. Just do what the nice helpful guys said. And don't do the bad things. No, no. Nothing good will come of it. He did the right thing not saying that the last time. Just do what the nice helpful guys said and don't do the bad things. Here you go. Access to the roof, weapon, and motive. That's not too hard. And here is what you can do to make it even easier. Come on, guys. Smart move. The components are access to the roof, weapon, and motive. Here is what you can do to make it easier. Come on, guys. Nothing is happening. The pieces are there, but they remain unconnected. Oh, no. He's stuck again. Please, someone, just animate him. I got nothing. Shush. I'm just more level-headed than you. That's my thing. Let's look at this as a learning experience. What are the components you need to implicate Ruby? Let's look at this as a learning experience. What are the components you need to implicate Ruby? I don't know what it means, but it felt like the most appropriate thing to say. That's what the witch doctor would say, at least. Sorry, you're not coming up with anything. Again, the pieces are there. She could have done it, somehow. Something else. Walla walla bing bang. It's just not coming together. Still nothing. But that's okay. This doesn't have to turn into some kind of meltdown. You're just a cop taking your time to present a theory. There we go. Your mind is a relaxed muscle. It's so nice and easy to give up, isn't it? On the downside, you have no idea what you were supposed to do now. I could have debriefed you. No one knows. Of course, I should have known. Concentrate on tracking down Ruby. Everard's file on you seemed thin on info. She must know from somewhere else, from Jamrock, something more. Everard has a file on you, but that's bogus. What she knows comes from somewhere else, from Jamrock. It must be real stuff. 
Sure, it was someone else. It appears we have a ninth Hardy Boy. I fear we just can't piece this puzzle together. At this point, the only sensible thing to do is get someone else to put the pieces together. Suit yourself. But remember, you're the one putting yourself through this hassle. Easy. If the lieutenant isn't here, you should find him and attempt this again while he's with you. It's that simple. The suit. The sunglasses. The haircut. He's famous. That's how you know his face. It's like you felt it would be intellectually stimulating and would lead somewhere. A custom even? Strange. Trying to get a good picture of your jacket, no doubt. These theories, not bad. Don't buy either one, but still. This guy's not as dumb as he looks. Someone hid the key in the bush and attached a yellow ribbon to make it easier to find. He's just trying to sound clever. He has no idea what you're looking for, nor do you yourself. It's worth a try. Could this be the Miss Beaufort that Easy Leo mentioned? The one Mr. Everard sent to law school? Um, you're sure Easy Leo mentioned something about a lawyer, Elizabeth someone, but you're too dumb to remember what it was. Maybe he has a point there. He's right. The numbers are replaceable. In an organization of thousands of men, there are plenty who'd join. This person also forced the drinks on you. This person also forced the drinks on you. Everard probably used this armed altercation as an excuse to completely barricade himself in the harbour and cut off all communications with the outside world. Doesn't sound like she's planning to come back. He is streetwise, knows the neighbourhood, knows the people. He could be useful. There were only ten people present at the fight. Ten times more than that is very unlikely. If he did triage and left, he must be relatively stable. There is no telling when it was made. He had a point there. You did mention doing more ballistics. Baby beard. That can only be Gart, the cafeteria manager. The bullet must have passed through your shoulder blade, missing your lung and your heart. You lucky son of a bitch. He didn't. That pain in your right side is your enlarged liver, by the way. As for your kidneys, you've really been compounding the damage lately. And, trust me, you don't want me to do the maths. Maybe if you cracked the damn thing, then you'd feel satisfied and tired. Holding the picture puzzle in your hands. Complete. That pain in your right side is your enlarged liver, by the way. As for your kidneys, you've really been compounding the damage lately. Do it for the picture puzzle. Put it all together. Solve the world, one conversation at a time. The close proximity of death must have made the lieutenant contemplate his life choices. He's done with the jacket. That does make some sense. The lieutenant did mention doing more ballistics. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something, probably Gart's work after she was arrested. Judging from the bust of Krasmazov and other revolutionary paraphernalia you discovered, it seems that the Capeside Apartments may be a hotbed of communist activity. You could also just look for more tangible evidence of communist activity. Images of Krasmazov and white antlers are usually a dead giveaway. Listen to this. Do you really think you're the kind of person an underground communist cell would entrust with a mission that requires such discretion? Three traditionalists should be enough. No need to overdo it. Three to four traditionalists should do it. No need to go crazy with those guys. An earth-shattering deduction from your psyche. What will those guys come up with next? It's day four, if we're counting days since the event. Fifty-five billion real is a gross overestimation, and we're pretty sure Eating dirt is going to send any kid to a hospital. Even Samir Lozier must be something valuable inside to go through the trouble of protecting it. The door is very sturdy indeed. The key to the kitchen door from behind the window. Use it on the door. This would explain why no one heard the gunshot. The bullet came from far away. It still remains an odd coincidence that there was a bunker there. The lead is flimsy. 
you might as well go around Martinez looking under every rock and talking to every person. But what else is there? I was being sarcastic. It was established that you did it. Anyway, the lead is flimsy. You might as well go around Martinez looking under every rock and talking to every person. But what else is there? The lead is flimsy. But what else is there? The alternative is going around Martinez looking under every rock and talking to every person. This is amateur ballistics. She left a trajectory for you. This is amateur ballistics. She left a trajectory for you. You need to understand where that shot came from once and for all. In the bookstore, if he's off on the speed train, there isn't much that speaks to him, at least for a few days. An ample? She did, of course. This doesn't fit with the testimony of Titus Hardy. He said she was higher than usual. Of course, keep your eyes open for the killer instead. I don't understand what you're doing, detective. Go on. A new name just emerged. Ruby. This is important. Change the question immediately. They tampered with the body to disguise the cause of death. Could it be that Ruby was cleaning up after herself? That the lynching was a cover-up for her, and she organized the boys to do it? Wait. If you arrest her, Kim will have to transport her. You'd be without your partner for the rest of the day. Actually, this murder did have a little to do with her. Interesting. Why did this Ruby go through so much trouble to hide something someone else did? Look into this later. Coming up with a theory. She said Ruby knew something was wrong before she said anything. How come? It was loud downstairs. She couldn't have heard the shot. He was a serviceman. He must have had a gun. Somewhere, lying around, close to her hand. He was a serviceman. He must have had a gun lying around, close to her hand. A military weapon using jacketed ammunition. Idiot. She's nothing of the sort. This is a familiar theory. You had it too, remember? Could it be that Ruby was covering up after herself? The lynching? She was 14 at the time. There are plenty of other reasons for hiding your documents from the law. Didn't she say you would have to interrogate her before? And that she didn't do it? What was up with that? The bills downstairs concur. She does. She must have some idea. Yet, maybe it's something she's keeping for a later move, when she's more sure of herself. So that's why the phone is out of order. She tampered with the whirling landline. Jigsaw falling into place. This is satisfying. Good catch. I appreciate the symmetry. There must be more to it. You should return to this topic after you've talked about her relationship with the deceased. Maybe. This is beginning to get confusing for you too. And we don't like that. Where was she last Sunday night? If we're letting things be out of courtesy, why did you even dig the bullet out in the first place? But fine. Who? Me? Who? Me? She may want to control the information rollout, not to become a suspect. She may have a past she's escaping, unrelated to this case. You doubt it's something truly insidious. So, she's God's mystery phone cutter. You were right to suspect there might be foul play involved with the broken phone line. Good. Yes, this means she could have heard something. Like what you were doing before you blacked out. Jackpot. It's hard to know what to think about that answer. By they, she means the Hardy Boys. That means his birthday is around February 28th. What kind of man was he? Before you go, ask for details. She seems okay to talk about it. She's quite observant about the human character. Trained, almost. You should record her responses, but you do not have a notebook. Kim, on the other hand, does. Everything left to be clarified is in the column on the left. She's quite observant about the human character. Trained to observe, even. Wow. So this is where they brought 40 pinball machines to fix them up. A long time ago. Everything is covered with dust now. Yes, pinball hasn't enjoyed a heyday for 15 or 20 years. Yes, Martinez North 22 used to be a pinball arcade. And it has been forgotten. 
Now there is only one working machine in the main hall. The rest is lost to dust. As the dice maker said, yes, it all fits. Not that it has anything to do with the case, but it is a nice connection. Yes, it would mean that, and God would not like that. He should probably be made aware that his establishment is part of the neighborhood ghost story. Stupid superstition. But still, it would be interesting to see what the cafeteria manager thinks of this. This seems to be some kind of workshop for fixing up pinball machines a long time ago. Everything is covered with dust now. A cop would be too large for her to overpower, but a determined child of her size can still kill the vulnerable, the elderly, the homeless, or other, other children. How is that better? At least get back to the corpse then. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. If it's important, it'll come up later. Focus on the case. This is a minor discovery. Don't let this Night City business clog up your mind. Proceed with your investigation. If it's really important, it will come up later. Has Kuno been to some kind of school? Probably a school for children with behavioral difficulties. Maybe you should ask these things from other, more well-mannered kids the next time. Hmm, hmm, that's actually not such a bad idea. Kids do see stuff. Locusts coming down like a shadow. This must be the night city he mentioned when you asked him where he's been. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening? is done in March. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. Was there something here you were supposed to pick up on? As soon as it crosses your mind, the thought is gone. Tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together here. Yep, that conclusively explains how the coat got up there. It's hard to see how. Not giving a boy a bag of amphetamine would cause some catastrophic cascade response. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. Scare him. How did this happen? You can still get out of this. Appeal to his reason. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. Irregular speech patterns. Overconfidence. Could this kid be on drugs? This warrants further investigation into this. Kuno. Logic error. She is not sleeping right now. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over. Hoisted him up. Watched him hang. This is easy. We're liking this. The pieces fit. Oh, this one's easy. Way too easy. It's a driver. You can almost feel the association taking form in your frontal lobe. But why? Yeah, we got this. We're smart. KK equals Kim Kitsuragi. 57 equals Precinct 57. Followed by his date, 0803, and time of arrival. 0815 on the scene. He's indexed the case after himself, not you. HDB 41 0803. Help me out with the time of day, anyone? It is very hard to struggle when you're dead. Death is the end of struggle. This will do. Okay, so you can sneak out of your room maybe after he's gone asleep. He's proposing the bullet was the real cause of death and the hanging and attempt to conceal this fact. There is, of course, the very real possibility he was both shot and hanged. Hmm. Kuno looks like he gets around. Knows Martinez. And it's fridges too, probably. Or, remember the buttons on that intercom over there? On the side of the building next to the whirling? One was for Revachol Ice City. Perhaps it's a clue. Hmm. Pretty clever. Nice. That makes sense. I would really prefer if there was another way. These people might have an agenda. Maybe it's okay if you don't make it today. 
The dead man isn't going anywhere. And there's always other things to do. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. True. It didn't have the cadence and logic of a real manufactured item. He didn't choke himself. You know it. Now that your ledger is back in your possession, it feels like you should do something important. Oh, yes you are. It's fundamental to proper police procedure to start keeping notes on the case at hand. Open your official investigation. Exactly. Open your official investigation. You have to start taking proper notes on the case. Open your official investigation. An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea.